Hello gamers and welcome back to another Hypixel Skyblock video. This is the Golden Man Profile, where I cannot buy weapons, armor, and tools. Last episode, I managed to get the Bozo flying next to me, but the video before that, I was trying to get a Daedalus Axe. Although, I was only able to get a single Daedalus stick before Diana left me. The same way my wife left with the kids. Luckily for me though, unlike my wife, Diana returned with the mythological ritual in hand. But unfortunately, there is only two days left in the event. I wasn't able to grind the other three days because of reasons. But that's fine, because I'm about to get seven extra magic find from the Lucky Clover, which will definitely guarantee me getting another Daedalus stick. And let me just summon the right pet this time. Wouldn't want what happened last time happening again. There you go. Oh, and last time I got a whole bunch of comments asking what mod I use for this. It's Soupy. I use Soupy. Badline also has a really good guessing algorithm. I mean, it's literally made by the same guy. But the reason I switched to Forge is that. You see that warp museum thing? I can set a hotkey, and once I click that, it warps me here. It's not only for museum, it just dynamically changes the closest warp. Now it's castle. Boom, click the hotkey, I'm there. This just makes grinding Diana a whole lot faster. Soupy is a bit of a pain to install because you also need uh, chat triggers for this, and I am not about to give you a tutorial on how to get this. Uh, you're smart enough, you'll figure it out. Just make sure you don't get ratted. But uh, yeah, once you download and install the mod, you gotta do slash soupy, settings, events. Just go ahead and enable everything that's related to the mythological ritual in here. Then you have to go into your Minecraft settings and you're gonna see it all the way up here. Warp to nearest location to burial gas. Uh, you can set it to whatever button you want. I just have it on a mouse button. And uh, then you do slash warp. You click here. Oh yeah, make sure you have the warps unlocked, obviously. <laughs> I have everything apart from the dark auction because that's pretty expensive and you don't need the crypts one. The other ones are museum and castle and they're pretty cheap. And uh, then you can do Diana much, much faster. Oh yeah, another thing is sky tells. You can go in here and just uh, mythological, try mythological ritual. This just tracks everything you've gotten in an event, which is pretty cool. And then when the next event rolls around, if you want to reset it, you can do slash sky tells, reset tracker, mythological, and and I just accidentally reset my tracker. GG's. Not that it matters all that much. I only had like 500 borrows. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And uh, it is time for me to pretty much no life Diana for the next two days. And obviously, if I drop something, you're going to see it on your screen right now. Yo! First Chimera of the event, let's go! I've actually gotten so much luckier this event than last time. So far I have 8 Inquisitors and um, a Chimera, pretty cool. But Diana's leaving in 32 hours and I still don't have a stick. Time to continue grinding. Ooh, I needed that. Because you can actually donate the Crown of Greed to the museum in case you didn't know. So, boom, that's one more museum donation. Oh, and while I was casually doing Diana, Hypixel decided to drop the third Skyblock Century anniversary. Bro's name is literally Riz. Alright, so you just sent me to Simon here for me to get my cake. What's it gonna be? <laughs> Wow, I got one of the most useless ones. Yay. Speed raffles are drawn every two hours. Daily raffles, they happen every 24 hours. And the big one, which is going to be drawn at the end of the year uh, 300, which is like five days from now, I think. Anyways, the first speed raffle is happening in um, an hour and 52 minutes-ish. And it has five judgment cores. Bro, what? If I get one of those, I won't even need to get a diddle stick. What the frick is a fruit ball? Yeah, you know what? I guess we'll find out in two hours. So, uh, back to digging more burrows. Aww, that's sad. But, although I may not have dropped a Chimera, the first raffle is happening in less than a minute. All right, this is either broken or they just straight up lied to us because it's been almost five minutes and nothing. Oh, people are rolling. Hold on, it's my turn. Ooh, that is a really cool looking animation. Oh. I got a fruit bowl. Find one of each default profile names, blah, blah, blah. Maybe I dropped the book this time, eh? No book, okay. Bro. Bro. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my God, yes, dude. Finally. Bozo is living in 21 hours. I got it. The second stick has been dropped. And you know what? Since I'm having some good RNG now, I'm gonna open the other raffles and maybe I'll drop something even crazier. A salmon hat. Wow. 
Th thank you, game. I got one more to claim. What is that? Better luck, bruh. I don't think I have to worry about the gold because I got 12.4k just vibing in my sack. I can't even remember where I got this from. Uh, I think I had minions down at some point. I am gonna need 48 enchanted blocks, so I'm hoping that I have enough. And there we go. That's exactly enough. There it is, the data sacks. I am, of course, gonna craft this by myself. I mean... It would be criminal to use quick craft for this. And there it is. Daedalus Axe has been acquired. Currently, it's giving me an extra 50 magic find, but if I switch to my black cat, it is gonna give me 20 magic find. It does have other perks, like giving you 35 coins for monster kills and dealing 200% more damage against mythological creatures, but I don't really care about those right now. What I care about is increasing the magic find, and I actually saved up the chimera I dropped earlier, and uh, I'm gonna apply it to this guy. So boom, before I start thinking about this, because that's nearly 90 million coins that I'm wasting, boom, there it is, more magic find. It is worth it. And look at that, now it's giving me a whopping 24.96. From now on, whenever I get a chimera, I'm just gonna slap it on this guy. Speaking of chimera, Diana is telling around for another 21 hours, so um, I'm gonna go back to grinding borrows, and maybe I'll get another one. Fingers crossed, please, maybe, perhaps. <laughs> no way, dude. No freaking way. Daedalus Axe W. Oh my, dude. This this was a great idea. Yeah, so after realizing that I was stupid, I switched my uh, pet role to use Black Cat, which pushed me over 200 magic find for those guys. For reference, this was my magic find before this. So, uh, Daedalus Axe goes kind of crazy. Yo, I just dropped my own Chimera! Dude, Daedalus Axe W. I'm alone. I'm not even in a party right now. That was my own Inquisitor, and uh, I killed him. And I dropped the Chimera! You know what that means, though? It is time to make this Chimera 2. Boom. More magic find. Thank you very much. A Minos Relic, that's 30 million coins. We take that. Just add that to the huge pile of loot I've got so far. Man, this event is uh, pretty lucrative, honestly. Let's go, third Chimera. I do need one more before I can upgrade my Chimera again, but unfortunately, Diana is leaving in 34 minutes, so I don't think I can get another one. And this time I actually ended up digging way more burrows than the last event. If you factor in the burrows I dug before resetting my counter, I'm actually closer to 5.8 thousand, which is nearly a thousand burrows over the last event. In the last two days, I dug more burrows, than the entirety of the last event. But if you look at the stats, I got 31 Inquisitors, which is double what I had last time. Other notable things is how I got nearly 30 million coins once you factor in the coins I reset. As for everything else, it is right here. I got 10 crowns of Greed. I somehow got less washed up souvenirs, a freaking ton of feathers, one extra Daedalus stick. These are the Shelmets, the Crochet Tiger plushies, and the Antichremities. I don't think I'm ever selling this stuff unless I'm like down horrendous for coins. But again, out of curiosity, I want to check out how much money these feathers are worth. 110 million! But I am going to use a stack and a half of these things because I do want to craft a sort of revelation. Simply for the museum, I don't really need it or anything, but I would like this Cobblock XP. Alright, so you in there, you there, you there, and then feathers like that, I believe. Yes, there it is. Sword of Revelations. Completely useless, but it's 27 million coins. You go in here, and you as well. But the difference is, I'm not abandoning this guy in here. No, no, no. I am taking it back. Oh yeah, I also got some mega basic enchants on this guy. Boom, bam, how close am I to leveling up? Ooh, three XP away. You know what that means. It is time to craft some more minions. There we go, that should be enough XP, right? There it is, level 202. And now that I'm armed with a Daedal Sax and I have my trusty Ender Dragon by my side, it's time I start grinding for the Judgment Core. Actually, I lied. There are two more items I wanna get before officially starting the grind. The Ragnarok Axe and the Fire Veil Wand. The axe can significantly boost my strength thanks to its ability, which gives 1.5 times its strength. So the more upgrades you give it, the better it gets. But first I have to get it. And it's pretty easy. I just have to kill this bozo 10 times. Give it some basic upgrades, and it's now giving me over 300 extra strength. Couple that with the Sword of Bad Health, and I'm gonna jump from 700,000 damage to... Nearly a million! 
So, uh, yeah, pretty good upgrade. As for the Fire Veil, it's going to help me during the hits phase and just overall passive extra damage. For this, I have to defeat Ash Fang and the Mage Outlaw 10 times. The Outlaw is a joke, while Ash Fang is easier said than done. But after some grinding, I got it done. But now that that's taken care of, I'm presented with a new problem. There are way too many items and I can't fit everything in my hardbar. The Atom Split, Hyperion, and Aspect of the Void are obviously staying where they are. Sort of Bad Health I use all the time, so it stays as well. Overflux and Wand of Atonement are what's keeping me alive, so they're staying too. Fire Veil Wand can go there. Daedalus Axe is needed for Magic Find, so it can go there. And now I'm left with the Ragnarok Axe, which I can only use during Laser Phase because it takes 3 seconds to cast. The Fishing Rod, which I need for Pet Swap for extra Magic Find, and the Zombie Sword for Panic Healing. What I can do is link this to this for easy access, same with this, and this to this and that should be good. The setting is called slot binding in Badline by the way if you're wondering. And what it does is just gives me very very easy access to everything. I can just click it. I don't have to hotkey or anything which is gonna make switching items mid boss fight a lot easier. And during all of this I also decided to upgrade my Ender Artifact to an Ender Relic giving me an extra 5% damage reduction from Enderman. And with all of this out of the way it's time to actually start the grind. Nothing. A pocket espresso machine. Are you kidding me? Bleh. More null atom. No. Okay, pet swap. What was that? Oh, a hazmat enderman. Oh, come on. That. Okay, do some more damage, pet swap, and then use data sacks to kill and drop a judgment core. Or I guess not. Okay, get it to like five mil. Oh, no, man, why do you come at the very end and ruin my pet swap? You suck! Aw, oh, nothing. I almost died too. Uh, okay, pet swap, data sacks, and I get an ender snake rune. Oh my god! Aw, oh, smarty pants again. That is unusual. Uh, pet swap. Ah, come on. I didn't do it in time. Oh, I got a hazmat in the man. I'm fine, though. Oh my god, a pocket depresso machine? Bro! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I did not just drop that. I did not just drop that. Freaking... Ender Slayer 7. This is the rarest draw from the Slayer. 0.01 chance. While the core is 0.07. Well, on the bright side, that is a colossal upgrade for my Atom Split. It is 99 million coins and I could sell that for a ton of money, but I really could use the upgrade. Without using any abilities or anything, I am now doing 1.03 million compared to like 995k. So I gained like 40k more damage for 90 million coins? Bruh? All right, now to see whether that was actually worth it. I'm gonna quickly use Ragnarok Axe, sort of bad health. Is this enough to push me to 1.5 mil? No, but I am getting 1.4 million a lot. Yes, it is, it is. I just hit 1.5 million damage. So this wasn't entirely an L. I guess I'll take that. I'm getting 1.4 million damage a lot more consistently and I even reached 1.5 mil. So I guess I'll take that, but I still would have preferred a Judgment Core. Do you know what's even sadder than the Enderman 7? The subscribe button. Look at it. It's so sad. <laughs> in all seriousness though, you see how I'm kind of closing in 150,000? And do you know how it's almost the end of the year? Wait, what? Yeah, I don't know either, man. It was January like yesterday. Anyways, if I hit 150,000 before the end of the year, I'll go bold. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. Yeah, my chat keeps calling me bold, so might as well. And if you're enjoying the video, then uh, drop a like. It helps a lot. Anyways, back to the video. Oh, by the way, use code interest in the Hypixel store for 5% off. Anyways, back to the video for real now. I just got a Phoenix pet. <laughs> Bruh. Okay, my last Phoenix pet, I dropped a handle. So surely, this Phoenix pet, I'm gonna drop a core next. Hopefully. Oh, that's actually the last Smarty Pants I need. Now I can just combine all the ones I've dropped so far and upgrade my leggings to Smarty Pants 4. That's like five more mana, but I'll take it. Oh, really? <laughs> this is the next boss. I just got Smarty Pants again. I guess I'm already going to start working on upgrading it to Smarty Pants 5. To be honest, I don't know how I healed that much, but was that a pocket? Oh, bro!
the rear smarty pants four and now i just gotta combine it with this and boom maxed out smarty pants now i can finally start selling those and start making a little bit of money on the side speaking of coins diana's back which means it's time to increase the chimera on my data sacks but that's not all because right after her we're getting Jerry, who increases most stats by 10%, making the bosses easier, and who activates all perks of another mayor every 6 hours, which means I can get triple perk Aatrox, significantly increases the chances of me dropping a judgment core. So for the time being, I'll just go back to digging burrows, but when Jerry rolls around, it's time for some more Enderman Slayer. Bruh. I smell a Chimera book from this one. It's It's gotta be a Chimera. There's been like 20... No. Bro, that's... Not... Please, game. I've been grinding the whole day. I didn't even pet swap or do anything. I'm gonna go cry myself to sleep. Oh my god. Really? Nothing. And again... Nothing again, and again, this is just getting sad at this point, bruh, oh my god, nothing, and another round of nothing, and nothing again, nothing, yeah, this is, this is hopeless, nothing, 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 Nothing. This is where I got my first Chimera, so... Yeah, never mind. Please give me a Chimera, please. Nope. Oh my god, finally. Diane is living in 14 hours. After 5.5 thousand burrows, I finally got a Chimera. Which means it is finally time that I go ahead and combine these two and make a Chimera 3 data attack. Stabby stab stab. No freaking way! No way! Are you kidding me? Dude, I just I just went live literally two minutes ago. I'll take it. I'll freaking take it. 240 magic find because I had to use Griffin, but if I had used the uh, black cat, it would be way higher. Man, that's a W. In other news, there's maybe one or two more Dianas, and I'm gonna max out my uh Inquisitor Beast Jerry. So that's something to look forward to. Okay, chain finished. Right before it ended. Jerry is officially the mayor. Which perks does bro have? Oh my god, it's cool. <gasps> Bruh! This is everything I got from five and a half thousand borrows. Just some garbage in here. And this is where the somewhat cool stuff is. We got three Daedalus sticks. A single extra Chimera. Of course, I'm gonna save this until I combine it with this. And we make Chimera 4. A whole bunch of Crowns of Greed. And a lot more Feathers. I'm gonna save these to crap the Terminator. But now that Diana is gone, it is time to put the Daedalus Axe to good use. And uh, start doing some Void Glooms. Lock in place, lock in place. Link that with that and that with that. And I am ready for some Void Glooming Slayering. That is proper English. Do not worry about it. Ooh, I can one-shot without using Sword of Bad health thank you for the 10 percent stat increase jerry very cool why do i need 100 kills oh yeah i didn't switch my uh wait a second i was one-shotting with a black cat actually that is amazing because i can level it up to level 100 for slightly more magic find oh and i'm zombie sword in my inventory uh -oh. <laughs> that's uh that's a bit of a yikes but we don't need no zombie sword i got this easy peasy imagine first boss during jerry i dropped judgment core Oh, I didn't pet swap. I mean, I did pet swap, but I didn't hold Daedal Sanks. I forgot. All that grinding, and then I forget to even use the item. Hey, I actually did it properly, and I didn't drop anything. Judgment Core? Judgment Core? No Judgment Core. Nothing, in fact. Die, 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 die. Okay, he's dead. What was that? Oh my god, it was a pocket espresso machine! <sighs> Ah, oh, but hey, my magic find is really high. At least for my standards. 192? Sheesh. Oh my god, Twilight Arrow Poison, no way. What was that? Ooh, that looked cool. Double drop. And they're not entirely worthless. It's like a combined, what, 1.3 mil? Aw, oh, summoning eye, really? Oh my god, dude, this item is a literal joke. Okay, new mayor has been selected. Oh my god, it's Diana. Bro. Nah, man, I've been grinding for six hours hoping it's Aatrox, or at least Paul so I can do dungeons. I don't care, I'm not grinding Chimera, not yet at least. I'm gonna take a break. 
the six hours is finally up, and with me in the dungeon hub, you can probably tell which mayor's perks are active right now. It is none other than Paul, which works out great for me because I want to check out some new dungeon mods that Badline added, and also because probably enchanting a Terminator is going to be very expensive, and I could use another scroll. The main mod I wanted to show is Dungeon Rats. You see that thing over there? That means I gotta teleport there and then get this chest, boom like that, and just follow the red line, teleport there, teleport there, get over here, get that chest, that chest, get down here, teleport there, get this, just literally showing you how to play the game. Now, you can also customize these routes, so if you have like better routes or something, you can use those. But yeah, this just makes dungeons a whole lot better, especially for people like me who don't know dungeon routes all that well. Uh, there are a couple rooms that I know already, so I don't really use the mod for them. I just started a quick solo dungeon, which is another thing that recently happened that I haven't mentioned in a video. In addition to dungeon routes, which is the main mod, they also got a better map, and we have an actual spirit leap overlay now. It's very useful. Uh, it shows you like if I had teammates, for example, in here, I can just click on him in the map. I'll, I'll show you right now. I'll throw a clip or something. Oh, and if you want my exact settings for Bad Lion, a lot of people ask me this on stream, so might as well say it in a video. I do have my profile on my Discord. You just have to download that and install it in your profiles folder, and you're good to go. But other than that, it's time to drop a scroll. Oh, a recombobulator. I mean, it's not a handle, but I'll take it because I actually started recombobulating my accessories whenever I drop a recombobulator now instead of selling them. This is uh, much better, just getting some more magical power. There we go. Mythic accessory. Very cool. I got a total of four. Wow. Game changing. That actually pushed me to 614 magical power, so we take that. I mean, I'm not going to do that because <laughs> why would I? But... Oh, this is actually useful. That's a cool cheese. Wait, why is it telling me? Oh, you can cheese. You can cheese this chest from behind? This also puts the Aspects of the Void I got a couple of videos back into perfect use. Hold on. Like that. Okay, and... Oh! Boom up there. Give me that chest and go down there. Oh! I can just stonk this lever. And then stonk these blocks. Get that one. And then get the chests. Because I already got the levers. That's so cool! Oh, this is a new room. I don't recognize this at all. They added new rooms as well. Oh my god, dude, this is a mess. There are stairs everywhere. <laughs> if only we had dungeon routes for this room as well. But it's too new. At least we have Secret Finder. Otherwise, I'd be running around like an idiot. Uh, where's the rest? Oh, there's a chest there. But how do you get there? <laughs> this room is so confusing. Wait, through here? No. Can I ATV through it? No. It's so easy. Are you done? How? Wait, what if I just, like, cheese it through here? Okay, I am a genius. Oh. It's literally just... Bruh. Take it through here, get me the item, and that. I wish if we could, uh, like, AOTV throw it, because I hate going through the water, but, uh, it is what it is. I'm forced to take a shower. Born to stink, forced to shower. Oh, be calm. I'll take it another recombobulated accessory. I'll take that. Yeah, my genius flawless plan to rely on RNG to drop a scroll did not work out. Big surprise. But I still have a judgment core to drop, so back to the end I go. Oh, I'm, I'm so close to 1.7 mil. I guess the recombobulating really helps. Oh yeah, I also got one more catacombs level, so Ancient gives me a little bit more damage now. Ah, another hazmat. Bro, I don't need these. They're useless. Uh, hold on. I said earlier we might try the 30 virus pack for his RNG because he apparently dropped a judgment core yesterday. Oh god, this looks so weird. <laughs> it's a hazmat enderman again. Aw, oh, it seems the 30 virus RNG doesn't work. We're trying refraction RNG instead. There's prism. There it is. Ah, oh, this pack kind of clean though. Makes the end super smooth. I like it. What was that? That oh, was a sinful dice! Uh, game! Ah, third boss and no core. Both banks are L's when it comes to RNG. But I do like this one, so I'll keep it for the meantime. Well, Mr. Enderman, would you please drop me a judgment core? That would be very, very kind of you. I would greatly, greatly appreciate that. You will stop my suffering, and I will be a happy man, and I will stop stabbing your kind. He does not care. He did not drop a core. Bro, no! Well, I guess my Enderman pet is getting a new look at least. Another dice, are you kidding me? 
I, I died, bruh. I <laughs> well, just in time to see this disappointment, Aatrox is gonna be the last mayor in rotation. And that is going to happen at 4 in the morning for me. Bro. Why? In other news though, I'm 31% of the way to guarantee in a judgment core and only 100,000 XP away from reaching uh, enemy level 8, so uh, the grind must continue. It is currently 4.15 AM. And uh, long last, we have Aatrox's perks. So for the next two hours, at least, I am gonna be no lifing Enderman non-stop, and maybe, just maybe, I'll get a Judgment Core. All right, this is the first boss of this Aatrox. I nearly died, and I get a Sinful Dice. But look at that magic find, nearly 250. That's a pretty good increase, but um, yeah, maybe the better magic find will help. <gasps> oh my god, I got it! <laughs> This has been so very worth it. All those hours grinding the Chimera, staying up late for Aatrox Jerry. I have no regrets. 249 magic find came in clutch, man. Oh my god. Judgment Core. Before Enderman 8, I am 70k XP away. And I had 307,000 stored XP. I cannot math for the life of me, so please someone in the comment tell me which percentage that is for a full meter. Not that it matters, because Judgment Core acquired. Oh my god, it actually happened. I can finally go sleep. The bow by itself without any enchants is around 700 million coins. And I do plan on somehow getting a power seven on this thing at some point. That's gonna push it to 900 million coins. And then you have the rest of the enchants, which easily pushes this thing to over a billion coins. But seeing how I'm already very close to Enderman 8, I might as well get that for the Skyblock XP. <laughs> Bruh, no way. Okay, this thing is rarer than core, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's 0.02, while my core is currently 0.06. Uh, well, I think I got pretty much every single RNG drop, except for Enchant Rune, thankfully. Uh, I got a Handy Blood Chalice earlier today as well. But I'm only 22,000 XP away from level 8, so the grind is almost over. Oh yeah, I dropped a core, so I can get help, because that was the rule I set on myself. Until I uh, drop a core, I can't get help. But now that I did... Oh. Okay, that was way too quick. What it- Huh? 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 I think I should just use Black Cat the whole time. <laughs> there is no point in using uh, Ender Dragon, because they're just gonna kill the bro. Look, he's already dead. And for those of you with a keen eye, you might have uh, noticed. I'm wearing something slightly different today. Got some new cosmetics on the way. I mean, by the time the video comes out, it's already out, most likely. Uh, if not, then it's probably gonna be like another week or so. But uh, yeah, we got some Halloween cosmetics. We got a sick cape. Really, really proud with how it turned out. We got the zombie there digging out of the grave, taking a look and then going back. Really, really clean. Honestly, really like it. The bandana is kind of simple, but I really do like it. We got some bats flying through there, the night sky. But yeah, I'm really, really happy with it, honestly. That's not my boss, is it? That is indeed my boss. Okay, hold on. Let me not die first. Just showcasing my cosmetic and a boss spawns out of the blue. Sure thing, game. Blood is dead. Okay, as I was saying, really happy with the cosmetics. Uh, I think we're only gonna have them on for Halloween, so they might be removed after. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. Nine more bosses. Eight more. Seven. Six. Beacon, 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 beacon. Okay. Five more. Four more. Three. Two. It's the final one. Last boss before Eman 8. And there it is! Enderman level 8. 15% chance to find RNGs as enchant in super pairs, and more importantly, 150 Skyblock XP. Unfortunately, my genius idea of doing floor 7 for a scroll so I can fund the crafting and enchanting of the Terminator did not pay off. However, I do have ways of making some coin. If I go to the bazaar and look at my sacks, I have pretty much 60 million coins worth of enchanted diamond blocks and 47 million coins worth of crystal fragments. So that's gonna be worth more if I make them into catalysts, which I'm of course going to do. We got a total of four Daedalus sticks that I can sell and a Minos Relic. And if things are really down bad, I can sell the Chimera. Oh, look at that. Nearly five stacks of enchanted diamond blocks. How much is this? 62. 
3 million. I'll just sell to NPC, that's gonna be way faster. Increasing the inflation, unbelievable. 423 crystal fragments. Man, if it was derpy, this would be worth so much. Let's get some endstone and craft all of these into catalysts. Okay, there we go. Turned everything into catalysts, which has increased their worth by like... 1.5 million or something. <laughs> Whatever. I need the coins. Uh, what else can I do for coins? Right. Feathers. I'll keep 10 stacks, because that's how much I need for the Terminator. Sheesh! 130 million coins. Okay, bet. Okay, we rich. 300 million coins right now. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be enough to get rolling with the Terminator. Let's craft it already. So it's four stacks per, and I need four. 1,024. Okay, so... How much is this? Uh, that's not bad. Let's get feathers. Craft. Braided Griffin feathers. Four. Uh, two stacks of Tarantula Silk. I'll just set a buy offer for that. 128. Done. 30 mil. Tessellated Ender Pearl. I think I might be able to craft a couple of these because I've been doing Enderman for a long time and I have a lot of pearls stashed up. And eight of these is like 30 mil, so that's going to be a nice cut down on cost. Claim your silks. He gave me this. <laughs> Bro is actually just carrying in the craft. I didn't sell the pearls when I grounded Zealous either, so I should have a decent. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, I think I have enough, uh, pearls to make the tessellated ender pearls. Okay, that's a lot. <laughs> so it's eight, and I need, hold on, uh, two, five, six. How much is this? 26 mil. Boom. Give me those. And the final and most expensive part, the null blades. I'm gonna need three stacks of quartz blocks. 193, 192. I just called 192, 193. I, I, I suck at math, bro. Uh, a stack of null ovoids per, so that's three stacks. Null edges. These are pretty cheap, but I can make them myself, so I'm not gonna buy them. I need null atoms, which I have a ton of, and three stacks of enchanted mithril per. Multiply that by... Oh, that's a lot of mithril, actually. Do I have any of my stacks? Oh, I have almost enough. Let me do this. 1728, which is how much I need, minus 1593, which is how much I have, which means I only need 135, which is extremely cheap. Give me those. Lift, lift, of course, already filled everything else. So let's go ahead and make the first null blade, the second null blade, and the third null blade. And now I have everything needed to craft the Terminator. You go there, you go there, you there, you there, 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 and there. And finally, core in the middle. And I get the one and only Terminator. It has been acquired the 700 million coins bow, but it does divide my crit chance by four, so I really have to work on my accessories next. Now comes the really annoying part, which is enchanting. First of all, we'll just uh, hit him with the hot potato books and fuming potato books. Reforge? I can't remember which forge. Is. is it hasty? I think it was hasty. Grand. Fine, rapid, grand, unreal. Even the game is calling this unreal, giving me the unreal reforge. <laughs> there it is, hasty terminator. Slap the recombobulator on. Stars, I already got all the essence, I think. Never mind, I'm gonna need to buy a little bit, but that's fine. Enchants will go with Soul Eater. Dungeonize, oh yeah, true, I forgot this is a separate thing than stars now. How do you dungeonize? Oh, yeah, right there. Tabasco, no thank you. Power, six. If only I had the coins for that. Flame, yes please. Give me another one of these. Boom. Infinite Quiver, most definitely. Uh, impaling. That's eh, pretty much useless on this. I do want Dragon Hunter, because I might do dragons in the future with this thing. So, let's get Dragon Hunter 5. Also, that's gonna come in useful in M7, because, you know, I I'll be doing M7 tomorrow. Obviously, I got a Terminator. I can, I can clearly... Do M7. Impaling for M3. True! I forgot about that. Oh, I forgot about R of 4 Let's get back of stats as well. Where was I? Dragon Hunter, yes. Impaling. Uh, piercing. Overload, 5. And I think that's pretty much it. Fully enchanted Terminator. To the best of my ability. I just, I just want to shoot the chickens. I cannot shoot the chickens. We have found the final <laughs> boss of Skyblock. I just wanted to check my damage, but nope. <laughs> Let me- let me through. G game, let me through. I'm too fat. Okay, I made it through. Just close the door on them. They're stuck there. They're chickens now. Roll a dice? You want me to gamble my remaining coins? Why? Why are you like this? Okay, where, where is Lef Lef? He's my dice supplier. I gotta go on Nick. Okay, um... Uh, 
Hey! <laughs> let's go, profit! <laughs> Okay, let's pay him back for the dice, which cost 36 million coins. Thank you for making me gamble, chat. It paid off big time. Another? Uh, I don't know. Should I? I'll only do three rolls, though, because I don't want to go broke. Uh, let's price. Give me that one. Oh. Okay. I mean, no coins, but that was a complete L. Mm. Oh! <laughs> I said three times and the third one was it. All right, time to take this for a test run and M1 because chat wants me to gamble even more and I don't want to lose coins. Okay, I haven't master moded in a long time. How much damage am I doing? Oh my God, I'm one shotting everything. M1 more like a joke. What's my crit chance actually? 100%, let's go. They also changed it. So now you can just hold right click. Okay, first mini boss. Fight back. Fight back. Oh wait, M1 is a joke. Did I? I don't think I even need a turn with for this. They have four million health. I could have done this with hype. Uh, I just realized something. There's been the dungeon update, right? Mm -hmm. Instead of going back to lower floors, I can just advance in master mode and get the new items that way, like the new equipment pieces and the new sword and whatnot. I think that'd be pretty cool. So I'll do it that way. Can I just one shot this? <laughs> yeah. Okay. M1 is a joke, man. I, I I can probably just play mage and I'll be fine. It's Bonzo is one fifth of Necron's health, 200 million, and he's gonna get one shot. Oh, maybe not. Okay, okay. I gotta give him more credit. He actually didn't get one shot. Wait, he didn't revive? Oh, I think he did, but he just. Ooh! Speaking of the new equipment, <laughs> can we donate this to the museum? If so, I'll claim it. If not, then I'm not gonna claim it because I don't need it. Yes? Okay, I'll claim it just for museum because uh, I do need museum stuff. And I can't buy it since it is uh, equipment. This is so nice. I can just hold right click. Speaking of right click, what's my attack speed? 72. Oh, that's actually like a somewhat respectable amount. Oh, ho, ho. Master Skull. Okay, I'll take that. I did like five runs, which actually means I did 10 runs thanks to the new update. So uh, let's get the Golden Bonzo Head and 15 Skyblock XP. Thank you, very cool. We'll give M2 a quick try. We'll see if I can one shot everything in here as well. And yup, no problem there. Mini boss has less health than um, than M1 Yellow Room. Is M2 a joke as well? That seems to be the case. I mean, I do take a little bit of damage, but not enough for me to panic or anything. Hello there, Scarf. Oh man, he has a lot of health. Uh, I don't know if I can survive this. Get rid of the priest first. And the archer's dead. He already killed everyone else, so it's just Scarf left. Wait, they revive. I forgot about that. Ow. Don't TP me. That's cringe. Scarf, why are you going after me, bro? I don't have a red name and all, but damn. I don't give screenshots mid-boss fight, bro. Chill. Okay, it's a bit tough, but I'm sure that if I had Gyrokinetic Wand, this would actually be very, very easy. Because I just can't control where the mobs are right now. And also, I didn't pot. Well, what's that? Adaptive belts. This is actually profit? Okay, I mean, I'll take it for the museum, but I'm surprised it's profit, honestly. Oh, no, he's going into M3. Oh, I don't know about this one. Hold on. Uh, let me drink a potion. That might be necessary, this one. Never mind, I can still one-shot everything. Superior! I need the frags. Don't kill me, though. <laughs> oh, my God, he hurts. Oh, wait, no, it was the archers. Okay, bro's dead. Ooh, yellow room. M3. Oh, I forgot about my abilities. I can, like, ult and use explosive shot. That makes life a whole lot easier. That was so fast. Okay, can, can you try to let me show, uh, like, shoot them? I'm not sure. How much health do they have? 120 mil each. Oh, boy. Oh, wait, this guy has 140. Never mind. He's got zero. I just melted the bro. But I do have to kill them all, like, pretty much at the same time if I want to trigger the next boss phase. You're gonna come back. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Ah. Wait, he died as well? Ah, that's unfortunate. Yikes. I can't solo M3. Kill this guy, and then that guy, and then that guy, and then... Okay, good. We got them. What is bro doing here? Wait, they revive as well, don't they? They do, but we have to kill him first. Is bro holding a scroll? Is that an implosion scroll? Can, can I have that? I sort of need coins, professor. Oh my god, that's a lot of damage. Okay. Good thing I had Bonzo on. Ooh, adaptive chestplate. I do need that, actually, for museums. 
now. I'll be taking it. It's a bit of an L. Minus one million coins, but uh, it's it's worth it for this kind of like XP. I'm honestly shocked at my ability to do M3 that comfortably. I mean, the boss fight was a little bit scuffed, but it's not like I was getting completely carried either. But that doesn't mean I can do M4, because M4 has Shadow Assassins, and before I can tackle that, I'm gonna need an ice spray. Another problem is my gear. Unlike my mage set, which is probably enchanted and even has gemstones, my necron set is severely lacking. I even just stole the boost from my mage set. In other news, I reluctantly decided to sell my chimera book because if I can't do this, I can't get a power seven, and if I can't get power seven, the bow is not exactly worth a billion coins, which makes the title clickbait. We don't like clickbait here. And this isn't like a meme upgrade or anything, it's gonna increase the damage by 15% compared to power six, so it is definitely worth it, but uh, it's just a little bit expensive. And I'm setting out 37 mil. Back to being broke, I suppose. I am currently on fire for some reason, but this, there is fire on my face. What? Anyways, as I was saying, this is it for this video. I got a freaking Terminator. I'm Enderman 8. Oh, and I also got Spider 8 because Jerry has Aatrox's Berks right now, so I did some grinding for that, which pushed me to level 214. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, as usual, thank you so much for watching. Actually, actually, special thank you to Nat Capitalize for this insane dono. And to everyone who uses code interests, genuinely, thank you all so very much. And uh, for real now, thank you so much for watching gamers. Thank you to my channel members. And I'll see you later. Peace.